Welcome to the Faith Playbook where holiness meets the gridiron. I'm Brother John Therese and today we'll be talking about humility. Humility is the dominant virtue that will make any football player an all-star athlete. He has to reflect and take a real hard look at himself. He can't have illusions about what he thinks he can endure on the field. If he's fast and agile but lacks in throwing and awareness, being a quarterback is going to be a challenge. If his pride and ego get to his head, he's going to quit football because football didn't work out the way he wanted it to. He has to do a reality check and say, I need to work on my throwing and awareness. And his humility will make him a greater football player. He has to put his pride to the sad. Being humble is not easy, but in order to grow in our faith, it's absolutely essential. Sometimes we think humility is about dragging your lip on the ground and thinking you're worse than everybody, but that's actually a form of pride. C.S. Lewis said, true humility is not thinking less of yourself, but thinking of yourself less. Humility is an attitude that responds correctly to what truth demands. We have to recognize the truth for what it is and learn how to conform to it. Humility is seeing where we are at in our relationship with God. We have to consider our strengths and talents, but even more so, come face to face with our limitations, weaknesses, and sins. We need true self-knowledge to grow spiritually. In the Gospel of Luke, Christ said, Everyone who exalts himself shall be humbled, and he who humbles himself shall be exalted. 98, 99, 1000. Now let's apply humility to our everyday lives. We all have struggles with God that hold us back. Whether we find prayer difficult or we're too lazy to get to Mass, or we may even struggle with a particular sin, or we may not even understand a church teaching. We quickly discover we're like that hotshot quarterback. Even something as simple as going to Mass once a week can be very difficult. Humility accepts these facts about ourselves as painful as they are. Humility is what draws us closer to God. Even though we fall short of the glory of God, He still loves us and desires our salvation. Through humility, we accept our sins instead of making up excuses. We need to offer our sins, struggles, and weaknesses up to God and move the chains down the field so that God can work His infinite love, mercy, grace, and wisdom to draw us to Himself. Until next time, keep the faith and fight the good fight.